All right, into Star Pack today, and uh, this is really old footage at this point. I think this was recorded back in June, and I just never got around to editing these videos because there's going to be uh, a few uh, extra clips at the end. But the premise for this challenge was having already done the um, win with uh, only pets from outside Star Pack. Uh, I'll link that video in the description. I wanted to take it one step further and try and win with as many pets from Orca as possible. And really, I also wanted them to be pets from outside the pack because, of course, Orca can spawn, you know, pets like Dove and Blobfish and uh, all the faint pets from inside Star Pack itself. So in order to try and achieve this, we need multiple stat swaps. So we've got the frog set up. We've also got Cassowary, Jellyfish and Mantis scaling up. And of course, Mantis needs to be the last one swapped. And then in order to fill up the five squad at the end, I mean, I could try and win with just a four squad and I did have some runs like that, although I'm not sure if any of them will be in the final clips. But um, you need to swap Mantis last uh, because you're gonna need it to, uh, to faint Orcas right up until the end. So we've got a, a very good setup here. I take the two level ups on turn nine, I don't get Orca. Um, not to worry though, we can also level Cassowary next turn and potentially find one that way. And I'm freezing Crow as well because as soon as we swap, we're also going to need to um, get another frog going in order to make the next swap. And we'll have to do that again for the uh, the third pet. But um, we'll get to that. Uh, we need to find our first Orca. And there it is. So we'll bring that in. And a frozen pepper here. Sometimes I would put pepper on the mantis just to try and stay alive. Because this was recorded quite a while ago, um, Star Pack wasn't quite as bad uh, to play as it is now. Um, I feel like it's uh, really <laughs> not fun at all. Um, but this is long enough ago that uh, it was still uh, passable. So the first pet we get is unfortunately the Mandrill. Now, really, you're hoping for something like, um, I don't know, Stonefish, Lionfish, anything with a strong faint ability, Eagle, Rooster. There are quite a lot of uh, good ones, but there are also a lot of duds. And so we get a uh, Mandrill first, and then we buy sell the Crow to stock the chocolate. The fact that we can stock chocolate in the pack now makes a huge difference. Otherwise, you know, you would have to um, do one crow at a time. And we're just looking for another orca. We're not going to get it. So I think I'm just going to take blobfish as something to faint. And we'll put it on the um, mandrill. Which, because at the very least it's a plus 2-2 two, two stats. Um, and it's not possible to get a, a toy in star pack, so... Um, you know, the mandrel can never do anything, unfortunately. We lose here, but then, I mean, that's what you're expecting. You're trying to get to the double-digit turns with a lot of lives intact, and we had four, which was uh, pretty solid. So now we've got two chocolates stocked. So we we are set up for another frog, and there is the orca. So we'll, we'll bin jellyfish and get orca in to do the double faint. We could also potentially get uh, another orca from the level up um, on the mandrel. And um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm uh, complaining about there. Very, very common uh, to see Stego. And um, not all that many teams have uh, Triceratops. So, you know, that was probably not the worst opponent I could have faced. So we faint the Orca and what's going to be second? We really need something good. Uh, and unfortunately, it's Badger. So um, because of the way, uh, because of the cost of frog plus um, double chocolate, we have to do it straight away. So um, you can see I'm a little bit uh, tentative here, but I have to just buy it all now and then um, swap the cassowary over because then I'll have uh, three gold left to buy something and then the mantis can just faint the, the cassowary. So I should take a uh, Spinosaurus here because we can get extra stats onto the, uh, the pets from the orca. And uh, cassowary doesn't work because we don't have any strawberry pets anymore, but that doesn't matter because it's going bye bye next turn. Yeah, we're going to be okay here. But we need more orcas. It is kind of a little bit alarming that I don't have any equipment at this, pa at this point. It would be 
very important to have uh, you know at least one pepper by now but because we were committing so much gold to the frog um, it's kind of difficult to um, uh, to guarantee that we can also afford to buy um, equipment thankfully it's a husky team next although I can't remember if I win this it does look like we are gonna win uh, yeah the mandrill is um, big enough to oh no we're not we're gonna tie uh, I think that was one HP off a win there, but um, we actually need a little bit more time here because we've only fainted four things with the Orca. Uh, three things. We, we want one more. So um, Spinosaurus has to go. Um, we can't actually bring the frog in yet, though. Um, um, well, maybe we could have done there. Yeah, maybe I could have just swapped. No, we, I can't. Of course I can't, because I still need the Mantis to faint the fourth Orca. So you can see I'm, I'm thinking about it here. There are an awful lot of games where I got to this sort of late game stage, and then I made some sort of misplay where I, um, you know, overspent with the with the Mantis and ended up having to faint something. Or um, it's it's so easily done and. Uh, so you can see here, I take Stego early just to try and um, make sure that we uh, don't lose. Uh, although I think we are going to lose because it's uh, a pretty nasty looking team. But we do still have hearts and um, we need extra rounds anyway in order to, to faint stuff. So I'm going to swap the Mantis. Yeah, we can, we can swap the Mantis now because we can just keep the Mantis as a low stat unit at the back and then faint the Orca that way, which we will do now. And the last unit that comes out of the Orca, I'm not going to have anything to swap the stats onto, so it's just going to have to be uh, base stats. Um, I wonder what the best thing you could get that would just be base stats would be. Maybe uh, Nyala. Um, and in the end, I decided to put the Mantis at the front. And we face off against T is very cool, who is a name that I see all the time in Star Pack. Or at least I did when I was recording this, and unfortunately it's triple level 2 Starfish. Completely grotesque team. And then uh, we're now down to one heart. Turn 17, we get Lionfish. That is absolutely painful. If that had been on any of the previous, uh, <laughs> previous feints, we could have been in a much better position, but... I freeze the... Uh, there is an Orca there, but we can't do anything with it because the Mantis has to go now. And I freeze um, Platypus because it's the only way I can get another unit from outside the pack now that the Mantis has to go. And you can see I've also frozen Velociraptor, although I did go straight past the Strawberry there. Maybe I was thinking that I would just um, try and win the next turn with the Velociraptor, but I think here I decided I would rather just take my chances with the five squad of pets, four from Orca and then one from Platypus. And um, I th this might have actually been the first time I got to this position where I had the entire team. Um, not sure wh why I'm thinking about buying the strawberry there. Maybe I could, uh, yeah, I don't know. Honestly, why is the Velociraptor frozen as well? All I'm caring about now is finding peppers. Um, and we get matched with another starfish spam team, Average Seal Enjoyer. Um, I've they've I've seen them comment before, and uh, sadly uh, it's a loss. But realistically, turn seventeen, no equipment, poor faint pets. It was never going to happen. Now we got some bonus clips, and I couldn't find all of them, uh, probably because these are so old now. But um, there were definitely some where I got to the end and had. Uh, four pets from the Orca and I just ran with a four squad but uh, I can't find any of them. So here's one where we had Turtle, Vaquita, Weasel and um, whenever you see the Vulture on the opposing team <laughs> you just know it's all over. And then next up we've got uh, Warthog, Mammoth, Osprey. Warthog and Mammoth are both reasonable gets although it's kind of difficult because you you need to find crows um, as well on top of the Orcas in order to level up something like Warthog where it's actually going to be strong enough. I think that was actually one of the four squad videos I had where I had Warthog that was level 2. Uh, here here uh, we're relying on the coconut on the um, jellyfish and we get tar. 
of course there's now lots more pets you know you can get tar turtle and snapping turtle to replace the coconut and uh, mammoth again plus walrus and a wolf and um yeah this time i think we're just going to be a little bit short yeah we've got they've got a uh, reindeer um fourth position level two reindeer and here's another fourth position level two reindeer a wolf again and this time we're gonna get a uh, rat from the orca and the coconut gets removed from the wolf that's uh brutal not sure if we would have won anyway there maybe the reindeer melon would have still been good enough but uh Lots of um, frustrating stuff that can come out of Orca and spoil the party, but uh, give it a try. I feel like in the current state of the game, it's going to be very, very difficult. But if anyone can get a win with four pets from Orca in Starpack, I'll be very impressed.